Hi there. This video will show you how to share a video from your Google Drive into YouTube and then create a playlist. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up your web browser and go to your Google Drive. Once you're in Google Drive, you should see a folder that says shared with me. When your students sent you the email that shared their project, um, it should have gone directly into this shared with me file. So go ahead and choose the video that you want to add. And once it's highlighted, you can go up to these three dots that say more actions. Click on that and then down at the bottom it says download. Um, you'll now get an error message that says that the file is too big to scan for um, viruses, but you can just click download anyway. And then save the file somewhere where you'll remember it. I will probably um, save mine right to my desktop. So once it's downloaded, you can just drag it over to your desktop, or depending upon which web browser you use, perhaps it's already on your desktop. And then the next thing we want to do is actually put it into YouTube. So you can go to youtube.com and log into your account. If you're already logged into Google, you should already be logged into YouTube. But if not, go ahead and log in using your Google username and password. Once you're there, there's this upload button right here in the corner of the screen. So just click on that and you're going to upload the file into um, YouTube. Here is where you want to kind of choose what your privacy setting will be. Um, there's public, which I don't think you would want to do for this kind of video. Unlisted means that it won't show up when people search for things, but anyone with the link can find it. Um, private means that just you would be able to use it. So I would assume that you'd either want to use private or unlisted. Um, if you want the kids to be able to share the link with their family or friends, you'd want to do unlisted. So um, go ahead and choose between those two. So I'm going to choose unlisted. And then you can either select the file or you can drag it in. So I just clicked on that. I'm going to go to my desktop and the video and click open. You'll see that the video is starting to upload and this will take a little bit. Um, what you'll want to do next is add a playlist here. So while that's uploading, click Add to Playlist, and you're going to create a new playlist. So maybe this one is um, your science video project. And you can click, you can choose whether the um, playlist is public or enlisted or private as well. So I will choose private for this and click Create. So as you can see now, I have the name of the video. You can add a description. So if you wanted to put first names of kids or just what the science experiment was, you could put it there. Um, and then here is your privacy setting for the individual video. And then here is the playlist that it's going to go into. So once this is done uploading, you just click done right here. And then you would repeat these same steps. Um, you can see right here, you can click add more videos. So you're going to want to complete these steps until you have all of the videos uploaded. And you'll want to make sure they're all in this science video project playlist. Once all of your videos are done uploading to your playlist, um, I'll show you how to play it on repeat. So if you would want to play it on a parent's night or anything like that, you can go ahead and do that. So you can see here that my video is done. I'm going to click done here. And again, if you were doing this for all your videos, you would just click add more videos and repeat this process for each student. So once you're there and you're done and you have every single one downloaded, you can click on your name and then you can click on Creator Studio. Once you're in created Creator Studio, you can click on Video Manager and then click playlists. 
So from here, I'm going to choose a different one that has a lot of videos on it. But you just click, so the night of parents night, you'll just want to click on the playlist that you have. And then click on play all. That will pull the video up. Um, and then here you'll see if you want to put it on repeat so that it will just repeat the entire night. You can just click on that repeat and then you can click here to make it full screen and push play and it will play all of the videos in a row and then once it's done it will start over. So that would be how you'd probably want to put it for that evening. So that's how you would watch it if for your parents night. I'm going to exit out of full screen mode and I just want to show you one other quick thing. Um, I, I believe Emily made you a manager for the VCS Badgers account. So if you wanted to, I'm going to quick sign into my VCS Badger account. Um, now, if you wanted to add all these videos to your to the Valentine account so that um, the students could watch it on the school internet, you can just go to the playlist and you can click add to and then you could just choose your name from this list and that should clear it through the filter so if the students want to go back you know if you did want to share the link with them and you wanted the students to be able to see it it would be able to show them or allow them to watch it on school grounds so if you have any questions on this at all please just feel free to let me know um, and I will certainly try to answer anything you need me to answer or help you with whatever I can. Thank you so much.